Hi guys, this is Katie and today we are going shopping in Costco in Bangkok. Well, kind of Costco. It's called Tops Club, but apparently it's the same company as Costco. So let's get inside and check it out. Guys, I'm so excited. They have Starbucks stuff, they have Christmas decorations, and it's really quiet, like there's no one here. I think, I think I've seen like three other people. I've also lost Callum looking at the technology stuff and the TV stuff. We don't need another TV. But. Okay, so before I show you the actual store, I just wanted to give you a few tips. First of all, just like Costco elsewhere in the world, this is a membership place, so you will need to sign up. The basic membership is free, which is what we got, but you can also get a premium membership, which gives you 5% off everything in store, but it does cost 799 baht. Just as a quick price comparison, because obviously I am in Thailand, 100 baht is equivalent to about $2.88. 500 baht is equivalent to about $15 and 1000 baht is $28, $29-ish. Just so you have a point of reference. And Tops Club is on Rama 2, so it's not really in the city centre. This took us like 35 minutes to drive, like we've got a grab here. Um, so it isn't in the city centre, so we won't be coming here that often, but it is a great place to go to. Right, now I've done that, let's get stuck in. So the first thing we saw was Starbucks hot cocoa. Now this looks great. I love hot chocolate from Starbucks. I think they do not get praised enough for their amazing hot chocolate. I was so tempted with this. Um, they have these giant teddies, they have big cups. They have a lot of Christmas decorations and I wish I'd come here before I'd been to places like Ikea and the Christmas place, like the Christmas shop that I've shown in previous videos because they had so many decorations. So I definitely wish I'd come at like the start of December. This is like a fairly new store, by the way. I think it only opened up a few weeks ago. So this um, this wasn't actually open like last year, so I didn't know about it, but it is new. So you can see all the prices here. They have wreaths, they have Christmas flowers. There were so many different types of Christmas wreaths to choose from, I will say. Some beautiful flowers that I really enjoyed. Lots of lights. Um, and I thought that these prices were fair. Like they were like $3 for packs of Christmas lights. Um, you can get these big LED lights as well. You can get outdoor lights. They have plenty of those too. Cam was playing around with his uh, lightsaber. They had these, I really liked these. They were Christmas baubles with little Santa scenes in them. I thought they were really cute. They kind of come out to about $14. I was really tempted, but I thought maybe not. So they also have these like bags i don't know if costco's elsewhere in the world i feel like in the uk i've never seen this but they have like branded bags like dolce and cabana and gucci those types of things um were on sale here they have a technology section obviously well, something that i found really weird they didn't have the new ipad so they had the older stuff um, but they didn't have the new one, which, which was weird. They have obviously speakers and wires and all of that tech stuff. If you are interested in technology stuff at all, I know I couldn't get Cameron away from this section for a while. They had this gigantic Santa, which I kind of loved. This is a lovely wreath. Um, if you could have it all year round. First purchase being made, guys. A pack of two toothbrushes that will fit snugly in our massive cart. So then they had this clothing section and I thought this was really weird. They had like Converse style trainers with Topps Market, which is kind of like the, this is called Topps Club, but Topps Market is like a supermarket that they have around Thailand, which if you, and they also had it on flip flops. Um, we bought some towels, so we picked up some towels, we needed some new ones. They had like Calvin Klein t-shirts that Callum picked up um, and they also had some like boxers and things like that. You can get your cutlery from here. So we were looking at these nice wooden chopping boards. We decided to just buy a few things for the house that we have been wanting for a while. Callum got himself a skillet because he's wanted a skillet for a while and it's really hard to find good frying pans and skillets and stuff like that in Bangkok sometimes like for decent prices we actually bought this frying pan set for $2.99 so this kind of comes out at like $10 which I thought was a decent price 
they had this gigantic pool table yes yeah, so there's not really much rhyme or reason to the organization by the way of some of this stuff but they had a big pool table they had this huge kids play area which i thought was kind of awesome it was a fortune it was like three grand but i still thought it was kind of cool they had these chairs which again were intriguing i wouldn't get them but Something that I loved were all of the inflatables. I love inflatables. When we go to Hewahim, which is like a little city near Bangkok, we always rent a villa with a pool. And I was so tempted to get these inflatables, like this, this grease themed one. And then I saw the size. So we were looking at the inflatables thinking like, oh, we should get one for like, when we go to Hewahim and we get, our, when we, go, we get like a villa with a little pool and stuff. They're massive, maybe not. Apparently this one fits six to eight people in it <laughs> oh wow right so we're going to carry on shopping they had some christmas decorations up in this big snow globe which lots of the children were taking photos in and going and playing inside and now we are moving on to the best part the food so the first section is this coffee and cocoa stand again so we saw the starbucks cocoa again and they also had the kirkland brand so this is how we know it's kind of like costco over here because there's a lot of kirkland stuff that you would see in costco they have these big coffee um bean boxes if these are any good please let me know in the description i've never had kirkland food before it's not something that we would buy in the costco in the uk so if you would recommend anything that you see in this video please let me know in the comments below um they had waitrose items so waitrose is a uk supermarket um and they had quite a lot of like tea bags and they, they also had some frozen items in the, a section later on in the video so yeah i was interested to see that there were so many waitrose things here they had dried cranberries which i kind of really liked the look of so we picked up some of those they were great and um, they had madelines which were like cam went on about having these as a kid they kind of the, the we didn't buy any they looked interesting but i think they came out at like 12 13 dollars a pack which i don't know i feel like i don't like sponge cakes that much um they had pita crisps which were interesting garlic and rosemary flavored pita crisps we did pick up some of these so we were looking for like somewhat healthy snacks or like not too bad for us snacks to have on boxing day um, we also tried these. These are Alina's Bakehouse Snackers bags. They were individually packaged, which we liked. Um, we also, big, I don't know if you saw it in the trolley there, we picked up a big thing of sparkling water. We've got some popcorn pack, like a big popcorn pack. I was tempted with these cheese balls, but I just thought, no, probably, probably best not to get that. Um, we also picked up some spaghetti and this is squid ink spaghetti it's something that's quite popular here in thailand and i thought i'd give it a go for boxing day for dinner i'm going to make some like seafood spaghetti for me and callum because he loves seafood they also had these various crisps available and you could try some so they gave us like a little bag each they had shiitake mushroom crisps which we did pick up because I wanted to try them. These were equivalent to about $9, so they were expensive. Um, they had crispy apple chips with Hanukkah honey. Again, these look quirky. I didn't pick these ones up, but they did look quite nice. We did pick up these, so these are baked pea snaps. Um, they kind of taste, they were different flavors. We've got the salt and vinegar ones. We thought they'd be a nice alternative to crisps that aren't too, too bad for us. And I think they were only about $4. Peanut butter pretzels, I've never seen these before, but they look great. But buying 1.56 kilograms of it did not sound great. So we did, we did pass on them. There are lots of these pretzel peat snacks. Let me know in the comments if they're any good. We didn't pick them up this time, but we will be back. Um, like I mentioned before, lots of Waitrose items. So if you are an expat living in Bangkok and you miss some of those Western like food items, then this is the place to go. And they kind of only come out at like $6 for a pack. Um, so that's not too bad. They had these raisin boxes. Now I've seen um, Costco in the in like the US have these gigantic versions of these. I like the fact they had smaller ones. Again though, $15 for a pack of raisins that I will just sit and eat. I couldn't do for my health or my wallet. They had a fish section. So there was these clams, some salmon, some seafoods, lots of lovely looking fish here. And we then 
they also had like this cost salad with salmon which looked great as more salmon dishes there was lots and lots of fish available here um, and we did actually pick up some lunch i picked callum picked up some sashimi and sushi for his lunch and it looked really tasty and i got myself a chicken caesar salad they had this deli section and they had these gigantic ribs these are two layers of ribs guys for 15 dollars, like 15 16 dollars, i think it works out at um they looked great and um, we did pick up one of these chickens so this worked out at about six dollars for a chicken it was so tasty so we did pick up this and ate it for dinner and like it it was amazing um so so good they had plenty of easy food so like sandwiches and wraps and pizzas like these pizzas were massive cake i love the look at this red velvet cake and it kind of worked out about five six dollars but look how big the slices are like i just couldn't do it but these cakes down here also looked fantastic i can imagine they're really popular here i also like the look of these cinnamon pull apart like cinnamon buns i love these so much these come out at like seven ish dollars i was so tempted to get them but Callum doesn't really like them so I didn't want to get them all to myself because I just felt like that's probably not great. <laughs> so our little trip out to go and get a few little things didn't turn into a few little things. I think we bought too much but they do have alcohol here which is great. So they have this alcohol section and we did buy ourselves a little bottle of Di Serrano for Christmas and that was our shop. So fun fact here in Thailand you can't buy alcohol between 2 and 5 p.m. So if you are going to like 7-Eleven or going to a shop, don't go between that time if you're going to get alcohol. Um, and also you can't get it delivered. You used to be able to when we first moved here, but you can't now. So I have picked myself up a bottle of De Serrano because that is my favorite drink of all time. And I can never find it anywhere here. So I'm very excited for that. Right, we are all finished with our shopping. Had such a lovely little time here. This is kind of like Costco. There's a lot of Kirkland brand and stuff here. Uh, just behind us there is a cafe like near the end near the checkouts um, and if you like sign up at the moment they have like a free ice cream don't sound like that today but you can get a free ice cream heading home now thank you so much for watching and i shall see you tomorrow for another day of vlogmas